What up, you guys? Master and Fatiner. And in today's video, I'm going to be uh, talking about my setup. I'm going to be showing you guys my setup here. As you can see, this is my uh, Xbox setup. This is my Xbox One dashboard. I already showed that in another video. So uh, if you guys uh, want to look at that, links will not be in the description. Anyways, let's get started. First, let's start out with the Xbox One controller. This is my controller. Just an ordinary controller. I don't need to spend extra, any extra money. I don't have anybody to ever play with, only online. So I, I don't have a sec another use for a s second one. I had another one, but that one broke, so I had to get a new one. Anyways, let's move on. But next here is my headset. Uh, this is the Afterglow. I, I, I really do like this. I actually just got this one because my headsets keep breaking. So yeah, this is, this is uh, it glows up. It can turn blue. Like glow, and then I uh, got the blue stripes, and it has a second cord which I show right here. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. I plug that into the back. Can control the volume, and uh, right there I got the. I don't, you probably guys can't probably see that, but anyways, that's uh, that's that's uh, my headset. So yeah, I I really do uh, like my headsets. Next up, I got my TV. It is uh, very dusty back here. You guys probably can't see that. But this thing is, it's, it's pretty big. I know most YouTubers have a smaller setup, like sort of like an office, but I, I, I don't do that. I hope one day maybe I can, but yeah, my buttons right here. And yeah, that's, that's my TV. It's just a flat screen. I know most people have the monitors, but yeah, this is what I do for my TV. Now what I got here is my current generation Xbox One console. There's the power button, you know. I got my mic sticker, it came with a sticker, so I decided to throw it on my Xbox One. Disc tray, you know, you know how the Xbox One is. And I got my little controller cord, I don't have it plugged in, I left it there so I could show you guys, but normally I'd have it plugged in right there. Plugged into the top of the controller. So anyways, it's now we move on to my old, old, old Xbox 360. As you can see, I got my disc tray, I got my power button, I got this crap that no one has anymore. This is a really old Xbox 360. I, I, I had like no money at the time, so I just had to buy the cheapest one they had. And uh, surprisingly, this one works perfectly. I never got any red rings or anything. I know this is the old one where it gets red rings. Anyways, and then I'm not, next year it's right here, so I'm not going to pause it. This is my 360 mic. Uh, and yeah, that's, it's a Turtle Beach X12, so yeah. Next here I got my uh, journal thing, uh, which I do write whenever uh, other I need to remind myself on something, and not even on YouTube in general. Like if I remember to hunt for an achievement or something, I write it down here. As you can see, I got nothing written down here. So yeah, and that is the part of the mic that you guys can not see. Yeah, you probably guys can't still see it's right there. Anyways, it pl plugs into the mic. I got my pencil. Pretty cool, right? Pencil. You guys came here to see that. Now while we're here, I just wanted to make it a little longer. I have all my posters here. I got my Halo 4 poster that I bought a couple years ago when the game came out. Over here, right above my TV, I have a Assassin's Creed 3 poster. Uh, well, I, again, I got this when the game came out. I, uh, that's the only Assassin's Creed game I like, so that's the only poster I will ever have in Assassin's Creed game. And next, I got a poster for the last uh, OK Call of Duty that we had was Black Ops 2. My poster for it, the future is black. I really like this poster, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. Now, I got my calendar over here. Uh, I don't know why it's still June. I'll switch to that right after this video is over. Anyways, this is my Shelby Cobra. I got it at Barrett Jackson. Uh, and uh, here's all the dates. Yeah, you know. Next up here, most a lot of this car stuff I'm going to show you is from Barrett Jackson. Uh, anyways, this is one of my uh, Shelby Cobra uh, little picture things. I, I, such a, I just hung it up on the wall. Pretty cool. Next, I got my Shelby GTSC Mustang here, which is pretty cool. Um, I get the same thing as uh, this one down here. And, um, yeah, I, I like this one. You know, I, guys, I love Mustangs. And, yeah, my light switch right here. And I got the... Wait, no, that's... Next up here we have my Mustang. Yeah, this is a Mustang, old one, old, old, old GT500. Uh, as you can see, there's a Ford, Ford logo somewhere right there, Ford. And you know what? Since you guys can see it, here's my 
Plymouth Fireball 500, a really cool car, never seen it before, and it's a cool car. Up next, I have my map of Los Santos. It came with GTA 5. I have another one with my Xbox One copy that I no never hung up. I probably will just keep it in that case forever. But anyways, yeah, this is the map. I hung it up on the side. Anyways, I got a poster of the old school game Centipede for the Atari. And uh, it, it, this is a cool game. I got a flashback Atari, but it broke. So I still have this poster, though. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to show you guys my games now. So here is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Day Zero Edition, even though I bought this in February. I don't know why it says Day Zero. And I got Xbox Live Arcade Disc. I had an extra 99 cents, so why not buy this? I only don't really play it. I, I should go on here and actually play some of these games. There's actually some good games in here. I don't know if the disc is scratched or anything, but uh, maybe I'll try this in a little while. Anyways, yeah, that's my thing. I got it at GameStop for 99 cents. Next up, I got Far Cry 4 Walmart Edition. Literally, Walmart Edition. Like, you guys can see it? Walmart Edition. It is. I, I don't play Far Cry, I don't even have it downloaded. But it's it's a good game. I just took a break. Sometimes I re download it and have some fun with it. Yeah, Far Cry is a good game. And, uh, yeah. Next up, I got my Mortal Kombat X. I love Mortal Kombat. I don't play it that much, though. I, don't, I didn't install it because I needed storage for Arkham Knight. But, uh, yeah, one day I'll uh, reinstall this game. Uh, my videos don't get that many views, so I just uh, took a break. Maybe I'll post some videos if you guys want. I don't know. Next up, I got the game that you see some of my Xbox Live Random Moments videos, and that's it, which is The Crew. It's a really good game. I got it for my birthday. And uh, it's a really good game, and I, I love, you know, I love the racing games, so this is a good game. Next up, I got one of the best Xbox exclusives to date, Dead Rising 3. It is one of my favorite, it's actually, no, it's not one of my favorite zombie games. It is my favorite zombie game, even though I like the first one better. This one is really good, really good game. If you have an Xbox one, go buy this game. Next up, I got the game that everyone should own. I don't know why you don't own it. Uh, it's Grand Theft Auto V, one of the best games I've ever played. Uh, for Xbox One, so really good game. Next up, I got Forza Horizon 2. Hands down, in my opinion, the best Xbox One exclusive to date so far in this current generation. I got the Day One edition. No one ever got a Day One. So, anyways, yeah, I got the Day One edition. Pretty cool. Next up, I got my great but broken Halo Master Chief Collection. By broken, I mean servers are broken. My disc works fine. But yeah, it is a broken game. It is fun to play, though, when it works. And, uh, yeah. That's Master Chief Collection. Moving on to my Xbox 360 games. I got Halo 3. That I bought this years ago. So many years ago. But I still kept it. Most of my 360 games are sold. Uh, some of them I don't have right now. So, yeah. I got the Platinum Hits. They don't even do Platinum Hits anymore. So, it's uh, cool. Greatness is earned. I remember buying this game. It was one of the greatest things ever. 10 out of 10. I agree with you. Game and... Game, Radar, whatever. Uh, 10 out of 10, yes. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for this game. This is amazing. Next up, the be the second best Xbox 360 game to date, GTA 5. Uh, for my Xbox 360, I haven't played this in Jesus forever. I mean, why do I need to play it? I got the next generation version. So, yeah, great game, GTA. You uh, changed my life. Next up, I got Cock of Duty Ghosts. This, this is actually a good game. I know, I know a lot of people hated it. I personally like it. I like it way better than uh, Advanced uh, Warfare. And I think Ghost is good, though. It's a good game. Next up, I got an amazing game known as GTA 4, the complete edition for Xbox 360, obviously. And, like, the Liberty City edition or whatever. It comes with the Battleland of Gay Tony and the Lost and Damned, you know. But, yeah, it's a really, really good game. Uh, amazing. I, it's just a really good game. Next up, I got my Black Ops 2. I have two of these, but I'm only going to show you one. One of them broke, so I had to get the disc or whatever. But yeah, Black Ops 2, is, it's it's one of the better Call of Duty games that just came out recently. Uh, it's fun, I played it for the year 2013, I just grinded on this game. It was, it was a really good game for its time. Nowadays, it's just there. Anyways, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. This is kind of a long video. Um, make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.